Welcome back, 649. At Halloween, candy corn is as American as apple pie. It's become so popular that this tiny staple has evolved into more than just a little piece of candy. News 3's Melissa Cohn is at Ye Old Country Store in DuCoin talking about some different forms of candy corn as we celebrate National Candy Corn Day. Hey, Kevin and Jayla, you won't believe how big these little candies have gotten since their first appearance in the 1880s. And they're in popcorn, they're in trail mixes, even soda. And we'll show you those products in just a minute. But since we're at the Ye Old Country Store Ice Cream Fudge Shop, we've got Bob Bittner with us. He's the owner. And uh, he's going to show us how they're celebrating National Candy Corn Day. So okay. what do you got for us? Okay. Tomorrow being Halloween, we'll have the Halloween Parade. Trick-or-treaters will be all over the town. They'll be in and out of the store all night. So we uh, we always come up with a candy corn fudge mm -hmm. for National Candy Corn Day and Halloween. My daughter Bobby and my granddaughter Brianna are the fudgeineers. Oh, are they? They make the fudge. I stay totally away from the fudge. Okay. I deal with the ice cream. Year round, we got candy corn topping. We can put on the ice cream. The kids will come in. They can get candy corn sundaes. We'll throw it in. Make them a candy corn milkshake. It just we can do whatever we want here. So. Well, it sounds pretty we delicious. We just stay totally relaxed. It is. It is. And you have another fun recipe you wanted the, to share? One recipe that I love to do with this stuff is we mix candy corn, a bag of candy corn with a can or two of salted pretzels in a big bowl. You eat that like a trail mix. It tastes just like a payday candy bar. Okay, so it's pretzels or peanuts? Salted peanuts and salted candy peanuts corn. Salted peanuts and candy corn. Well, I know what I'll be having for lunch today. That sounds pretty yummy. And what's so wild about this is that candy corn, as I mentioned earlier, has really gotten into a lot of other areas besides candy. I stopped by Target yesterday and found candy corn kettle corn. So what it looks like is that they melted some of the candy corn and sprinkled it all over some uh, kettle corn. And get this, even Oreo cookies have jumped on the candy corn bandwagon. Look at this. It's got the orange and yellow filling. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to taste like candy corn. And quite possibly one of the most interesting things that I've found to date, it's candy corn soda. Jones Soda, they tend to uh, come up with some very interesting items uh, during the holidays. I'm sure you've seen them around Thanksgiving with their, their stuffing and green bean soda. So I feel like this might be a little bit tastier than some of their other items. But we did leave a bunch of those back at the station for Kevin and Jayla, and we're going to have them do the official taste test, along with some fudge that I made. It's candy corn fudge. Not as yummy, of course, as what you find here at the uh, Yield Country Shop or uh, Fudge and Ice Cream Store. But we will give you the recipe to that one uh, after the show. But Kevin and Jayla, how's that taste test going? Very well. Well, well here we go. I have I a guess. mouthful of candy corn uh, kettle corn. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try one of the Jayla's gonna have that. Oreos. And Brent, turn around for a yes, minute. Yes, I know. My trainer, if you're watching, he's going to kill me. This is the uh, candy corn but I'm soda. <laughs> you got to wash down the Oreo with oh some God. candy corn soda. And it is orange. <laughs> now, I've never had candy corn soda before. And I'm not a big candy corn fan, but in moderation, they're not bad. Um, they're okay, yeah. I mean, I, I liked them, I think, more as a kid. Wow. They're very sugary. It, this is very sugary. And then let's get, I, oh, yeah. I think Landon, you showed it earlier, <laughs> but let's get a shot of this uh, fudge that Melissa made. Yes. Very, very creative, very decorative. Melissa, uh, our professional baker. Yeah, she really does a good job. She moonlights. And since she made it, I'm going to try it. <laughs> I can't. It's too rich.